Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a really lovely video for you today where of course we are going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to be covering a bit of a higher term view to start with, then zooming into the lower term timeframes to go over the current trading range and the important levels that we are trading off of literally right now. And towards the end of today's video, I want to cover a really important trading message and something that I feel will leave you inspired and really motivated to push on and continue your journey learning to trade. Of course, you are here watching this video today to get the most up to date, best and most professional technical analysis that you are able to find here on YouTube. So without further said or do, I know you're looking forward to it. So am I. Let's go into the charts. So. Yeah, obviously yesterday we done the hour long live stream more or less for the public where we focused more on the, you know, the little range that was going on here. Okay, and obviously I just want to, you know, do a quick two minute review of, you know, the level that we bounced off, which was obviously the top of the $32,000, where it played into that idea that we were aware of you know, this was while we were up at around the $50,000 of that head and shoulders. This is going to add on a little bit more information, but where obviously we had that left shoulder, that head, and then that right shoulder playing out where we were looking for that fake out before the rise. This is, you know, the, the this is the print screen kind of when we were going. This was from a, this actually was from a public live stream that I'd done, by the way. Uh, but obviously we were looking at that left shoulder, head, right shoulder, getting that fake out. E.g. you take the low of those head and shoulders, gets everybody bearish. And then it's like, boom, reverse to the upside. And in the end, yes, that is exactly what did happen. You can see as we took the low of the neckline. OK, you trap a lot of shorts at the lows. And as soon as you get back above that neckline, which you can see here, you know, price expands, you know, pretty quickly. Um, so really to, to, you know, emphasize how you would trade this when you've actually got the initial move below, you know, this is what you could call a potentially high risk long. OK, but as soon as you reclaim that neckline, of course, the probabilities are in your favor of that rise to the upside. OK, and it's all about having that plan made. And in my opinion, waiting for the reaction, okay? So if you had never reclaimed that neckline, really simply, you could have looked for it to play out, okay? We are playing in a game of probabilities. But as soon as you reclaim that neckline, of course, the favor comes into the bulls, looking for that, you know, impulse to the upside. And the impulse that you got off of that was obviously really, really quick. And the level, where did you bounce off of? Where did you reject from? Okay, it was really, really simply our, our most loved level Fibonacci CC from the high of that last impulse down to the low. And you can see what a beautiful, really beautiful it was. Here you slightly front run the CC, you got that pullback, but then going into the 10th of February, you finally hit the top of that CC. And that's where you got the, you know, the larger pullback here towards that daily level. And that really brings us up to where we were yesterday. So I just wanted to start off with a quick two minute review of why that low was put in and the, the reason why this impulse here was so quick was basically a lot of trap shorts reclaim of the neckline off of that idea of the head and shoulders fake out, which we were planned, you know, we're, we're ready and prepared for. And then why we rejected where we did. So obviously the CC bringing you from the 28th of December down to the low of the 25th of January, bumped into the CC. And, and you know, that's where we're obviously finding this resistance. So when we zoom down onto a lower term time frame, uh, you know, yesterday we were doing our live stream and we were looking at the order flow live in the time. OK, and my exact words during that live stream were for me, you know, I'm never going to log into the CC resistance. We obviously had another local CC resistance on a daily level. For me, this is not a level that I would ever look to long. OK, so it's it's I really hope you're getting value from this. It's like so important as a trader to be um to be ready for a trade and know when is a good time to long, when is a good time to short, okay? And that all comes down to having that plan in place. If you are not planned for a trade, you only are planned to fail without <laughs> realizing it fully. If you come into a trade with not really knowing what you're doing, not a full understanding of the market here, you 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 are going to fail. It's just a matter of time before you before you fail. Um and so obviously I had recognized, hey, there's no way I'm going to long here because we're at the CC daily resistance. But also I'm not going to short yet because of the really bullish order flow that we had. Yeah, we were looking at that order flow building up here and we were recognizing, hey, this is not yet the time to short. We need to remain patient for that short opportunity. Why? Because the, the order flow was too, you know, it was really bullish. So I said that during the live stream yesterday, and then I went on to emphasize it within the Discord group that I have even more. Okay, my comments, 
when inside the group, I'm not looking to short yet, looks good for a bit higher. That was during this section of the chart while we, you know, we even had a bit of a pullback here and my thoughts are still, hey, for me, yes, we are starting to get a bit of a market. Basically, I was replying to a comment, someone was saying, hey, the market structure is, you know, starting to become bearish. Do you think this is a short yet? And really simply, my answer was no, I am not going to short yet, even though we have, yes, got a market structure change. There are more factors in play than just the market structure. And for me, having such an emphasis on order flow, you know, this is this is my massive edge at the moment. It's working like like I say here, it's the reason how we're turning, you know, what could be described as an average 50% win rate up to 95% win rate, like not taking many losses. And it's because of the order flow. It really simply is because of their order flow reading. <laughs> and, you know, it did work out again as we did get that market structure change. Yes, but the order flow remained bullish. OK, as I said, again, inside of the Bitcoin TA yesterday, I'm not going to short here based, you know, because of the order flow is bullish. I would prefer to see an SOW. And in the end, yes, that patience did pay off going into, you know, 20 to 12 last night. E.g., we had to wait a long time talking about nearly a 12 hour wait patience definitely was needed on this one but obviously we did make that new high going into eagle time and so you know things that i want to emphasize here for your educational reasons it's very important to make a plan e.g know where you want a long know where you want a short what are the um you know what sort of order flow are you looking for to confirm that bias because it's all well and good saying hey i want a long i want a short here but then it's understanding what you're looking for when price hits that level e.g. if I had not recognized order flow, it was very likely I would have shorted the first touch of the daily in the top of the CC. Yeah, maybe I might have made a winning scope trade there, to be fair. But in the end, I recognized, hey, the order flow is, too, is, is bullish. Sorry, the order flow is bullish. I want to wait for more, you know, I want to wait for more of a reaction. E.g. I want to wait for higher because I truly believe it's coming higher. And in the end, we got that. Yeah, it took 12 hours, but we got it. We obviously move up towards the, the top of this channel. And like we said, like, well, like, well, actually, really, really, really well done from Doltex is obviously an all star. Uh, the all star Doltex come in here right on Eagle Tie with the top of the, you know, the Fibonacci pool. So then you'll get you're, then you're given this short opportunity. Why? Because you've come up to the top of your fibs. You've got this channel in play and e.g. it's a fake out of the top of the channel. E.g. Yeah, you've come up, you've taken the highs. And it's not just taking the highs into the Fibonacci. It's the fact that it happened right on Igor time. And then it's like you're getting you're getting another trade setup. Yeah. Why is this trade setup a short setup? Well, I hope it's fairly obvious at this moment in time. Then you've got a channel. You've got higher. You've stopped out all those early shorts. Yeah. All the early shorts that were short in all this time. They are then stopped out on this rise. You've come up into your fibs. And it's happened right on Eagle time. And then you've taken the top of that channel. You've stopped out the early shorts. You've got the breakout longs. And then you're back into the channel. Yeah, you're back into the channel. And have a look at this one. This is why people love the All-Stars. Because if you look at the chart, he give it to you. Look where the low is. The monthly. The monthly. You can see pre-planned, pre-set, aware of the level. That comes in at $43,800. As soon as you're back into a range, you've got a short trade. Yeah, you've got a short trade on your hands. Forty-three. 800 monthly on the all-star Doltex chart. Have a look where we bounced off of 43,800. You come down, tap that monthly and you're back right up into the middle of the channel. Okay, that's given you then the patience to wait for the short, a short trade into the monthly along if you want and then sculpt the long back off of it into the middle of this channel that which you're currently trading at the moment. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's fairly amazing. That's just, that's just over the past 12 hours of price action. You're given three trades, three winning trades. I mean... Yeah, and all it required was that patience. Well, it required the, obviously the understanding of order flow. If you don't understand order flow, you're not going to have taken the trade. Understanding how to trade channels and understanding when to take profit one, move stop loss to entry. You know, there's a few moving factors involved, but overall, I'm not referring to it as too difficult of a trade. Um, anyway, I digress and move on to what's actually happening right now then. So let's say that you missed this long, you missed this short, you're in no trade at the moment. Well, at the moment, then you still have this channel to be trading. E.g., when you move down towards the low of the channel, you are naturally looking for your long positions. When you move towards the top of your channel, you are naturally looking for short positions. Okay? E.g., we trade this channel until it breaks. I personally would expect this one to break fairly soon. Why? Because we... I recognize that we are, are at a level of resistance, which in my opinion is not overly strong. Yes, it's a daily and a CC combined, 
but it's not the biggest resistance that I personally am looking at. It's a resistance, but it's not the biggest. So I personally am expecting, yeah, and also this support is not the strongest in the world. So overall, I am expecting this channel to break. Give it another one or two more touches. I would expect this channel to break, okay? And then obviously when this channel does break, you'd be looking towards your next levels to the upside or to the downside. Obviously, we got some bigger daily levels, um, in my opinion, much bigger levels, um, the daily above us here and the daily below us here, which when this channel breaks, one would, you know, be looking towards those bigger levels of support and resistance. Um, but naturally, you never want to get bearish at the lows. You don't want to get bullish at the highs. You trade the range until it breaks. Eventually, it's going to break 100%. And then it's a case of, let's say, for example, you uh, let's say you take another long off of the lows. Let's say price does something like this. Yeah, you take, it loses the channel. There's no long opportunity. You get back in, you take a long and price overall ends, ends back down. What you have to be very strict on as a trader is taking a loss on that trade yeah that that would result in a loss if you get into the channel it looks decent it reclaims you take a long it comes back down again really simply have a, have that stop loss in place the worst thing that you can do as a trader is do this it comes down hey i have no stop loss i'm losing money i'm losing money i'm losing money and that's the worst thing that you can do as a trader as a trader you have to accept hey we're trading a game of probabilities i know where i'm right i know where i'm wrong i want to keep my winners big I want to keep my losses small. The only way we can do this is acknowledging, hey, this is the trade setup that I'm taking. This is why I'm longing. This is my invalidation. Yeah, and I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game. I'm playing the game. Obviously, yeah, it's just, it really is as simple as that. Okay, so we are going to keep playing the game, and we're going to keep trading the range until it breaks. Eventually, it will break. It will result in a lo losing trade to end with. But you know, let's say our next trade is a loss. We'll have walked away with three wins off of this range, one loss. You know, we're walking away with a seventy-five percent win rate off of this trade. Three quarters of the trades won. Happy days. The three winners were bigger than the loss. Okay, the same results to the upside. How we could approach that short trade, and then we'll look with a break of the channel, much to the bigger levels of resistance and support, which I am much more interested in. I am still scalping my altcoins today. Okay. So uh, yeah, for me, the altcoins are really, really, really uh, nice trades today. Again, you can make money when price is going up. You can make money while price is going down. We don't need to be only looking for longs. The same applies to altcoins. We don't need to only be longing these, these assets. We can look for shorts. We can make money while price is going down. Uh, very, very, very important acknowledgement that you realize that. Yeah. Um, and that brings me on to what I want to look at next. And oh, I guess one quick announcement before I go on to what's next. Obviously, I got a contenders live stream tonight um, where tonight I'm actually hedging is one that's coming up, which is a really, really important topic. But tonight I'm actually going to be going over order flow, kind of like we were doing yesterday in the live stream. But of course, in like times 100 more detail, I'll actually be fully explaining my thought processes. I'll be explaining exactly what I'm looking at, why I'm thinking this is bullish, why I'm thinking this is bearish. E.g., we're going to look at the order flow across Bitcoin, across a few different assets. And basically, I'm just going to go much more in depth. It's going to be kind of like a live analysis, uh, uh, primarily focused on the order flow, because people want lots of real live examples as it's happening. So that's what I'm going to do in con tonight's Contenders live stream. If you're interested in that, it's obviously chartchampions.com. You can sign up on our website if that's of interest to you. For all the educational material, um, yeah, that's, that's how you can get it. I'll be on that live stream tonight for the members. Moving on. Um, yeah, I actually want to want to talk about something here that I truly feel for you is going to be really, really, really inspirational. And that is actually taking a look at a post here from from Tiago. Obviously, we're uh, this, this, this is I think many people can relate to it. Many people I truly believe will be able to relate to this. And this is a, his first ever message, by the way, first ever message inside of Chart Champions. Hope you don't mind. I'm sure Tiago won't mind. Uh, his first ever message was, would love to join the Champions membership, but I took a huge loss on my portfolio the last few weeks, about 70%, and he is struggling a bit to find money for the fee. You know, it's kind of a common, uh, common statement. People are getting, people get, they, go, they, they start to trade, they get absolutely wrecked. Um, they want to then uh, acknowledge, hey, there is a problem in my trading. I do want to learn. I do want to advance. Hey, I'm actually struggling to find the fee. I will be the first to say, you know, our fees are not low. And that is simply because we are the Ferrari of the crypto market. Yeah, our prices are not low, but we only, uh, we are the best. So it's as simple as that. So I understand, hey, he's in a bit of a dilemma. He actually managed to find 
some money, put it together, and he started his trading process. And this is something that I want you to remember, this comment as I move on to the next, which I believe, as people were replying here, we're going to be looking at something inspirational for you. We will keep our eyes on Bitcoin as well. Maybe this is going to take five minutes. We'll see if we get a move during the next five minutes that we will look at if something happens. That sounds like a fair deal, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, this was a post actually uh, from two years ago, two years ago, <laughs> exactly two years ago yesterday when I posted this over on Twitter. If you're not following us on Twitter, go give us a follow, Chart Champions. I post a few you know, updates throughout the day there. But this was funny. Uh, this was from the 15th of the 2nd, 2020. I posted this obviously on the 15th of the 2nd, 2022. So two years ago I posted this, but my, my words are the same. I actually want to read this out for you because I truly believe it's, it's important. So let's begin. The difference. Let me try and let me try and add some add some add some hype into this. So the difference between a champion and someone who is forgotten is a champion shows up. That is the th that is the one and only thing. Yeah, that is the difference here between that person that no nobody remembers and the champion that returns. That is the thing that we show up. OK, a champion gives himself a chance to make a difference because success doesn't know these things about being cold, about being tired, about being upset, about having problems. It just knows whether you showed up or not. For some of you, <laughs> for some of you, when you do what you do, you act as if you have another opportunity. You know, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Oh, they, oh, you know, there, there's something around the corner for me. No, every opportunity is the last opportunity. You cannot just say you want it. You cannot just watch a video and say, I want this as bad as I want to breathe. It's nice to say it, but when it's showtime, when the sun comes up and you've got all the books, all the videos, all the cheat sheets, all the access, now is the time to do it. If it was easy, you know, if trading was easy, Everybody under the sun would be doing this right now. You're going to feel upset sometimes. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. Just go through it. Okay. E.g. what we're talking about here is lots of people are going to make excuses. Lots of people come and go. It's like I wrote here during the last two years. Oh my, we have had, we, we must have had a lot of loads of people that have come, joined the group for a month, two months, three months, and they've gone. Why? Because they've given up. It's too hard, too difficult. They don't, the, e.g. they don't actually want it. They don't truly want it. Because if you give up, I truly feel, hey, you're not, you're not a champion. Why do you want to be a champion? What do you want to accomplish? Why are you doing this? If you say, I want to become a trader, so maybe one day I can be financially free and provide for my family happily. I say if you think this way, you're going to be a loser. You're never going to make it because there is no maybe. You have to get up and say, I want to be a champion. I will do whatever it takes, the amount of hours it takes, the amount of studying it takes, the amount of capital it takes, the amount of rewatched videos, whatever it takes, I will do it. That's the answer I want to hear from you. I personally <laughs> can, can, can detect right away those that are not fully invested in themselves or their goals, those that will fall behind and though, or, or, or not go all the way, and those that are very hungry and have that hunger to develop because you have to create a goal for yourself, short term and long term, and you have to go after that. And if you do not see it, and if you do not believe it yourself, then who else will? There are those that get some losses and give up. And there are those that take some losses and learn from each one in advance. That is what divides one from, that is the, what divides one from a champion and one from not being a champion. If you can go through this pain period, you can make it and you can become a champion. Expanding upon this, yeah, I, I see it all the time. The people, actually we do have people that come into the group looking for signals and then they're like, hey, actually I can learn something here and turn and turn it around. Actually, some of our best members started looking for signals, thought we were a signals group, found out we weren't and thought, hey, actually I want to learn and be like these people. But a lot, obviously the majority, they'll, they'll come in you know, they'll stay, they'll, they'll stay for a few months and then and, and they they fall off. But you can tell really, really early on the people that truly want it and the people that are kind of like, yeah, you know, I'd like to get into this. Maybe I'll find some time. Uh, you know, hey, I don't have enough time to watch the videos. Can you give me, can somebody just give a review of what's happened in the latest video? You know, not really the type of motivation that you need. And I acknowledge 
probably 90% of our members, they come from a position of being in a full-time job. They come into a position of having a family, having a wife, having a kids, and it's difficult to make time. Of course, it's difficult to make time, but if you truly want it, you're going to find 15, 30 minutes a day to study, to study, to study. And those 15 minutes, you might think, hey, what am I going to do with 15 minutes a day? It's 15 minutes a day for the next five years. It adds up and it changes your life, period. Yeah, you cannot give up. Pain is temporary. Pain is your friend. Pain is going to take you to the next level. When you're going through pain of losses, I know what you're feeling. I know exactly because I have been there and I have done that. But you have to get through it. And the reason why so many are not champion traders is because every single time trades do not give their, go their way, they give up. You have to surround yourself with positivity if you want to move on. The people who you surround yourself with have a massive influence on your life, period. So align yourself with powerful people. Align yourself with people that can encourage and empower you. People you can learn from. People you can grow from. You want to align yourself with people who think like you, dream like you. People who want more out of life. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser, but it does take time and dedication to become a champion. Let's rock, let's keep rocking this community in 2020, now 2022. Really strive and work hard for your dreams, show your progress and help each other. And as one, we will succeed and your goals will be met, champions. Let's go. That's what I'm on about. E.G., I, 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 I mean, I mean this in my own personal life. I've, I, you know, and also relating it to trading. You think I've always been a good trader? No, of course. I started off as a as a rubbish trader. And it's through those losses. It's through I'm I'm a you are you all know me by now if you've been subscribed for the last few years at least. Uh you know, I'm an extremely competitive person. If I want to do something, I want to be the best. There is no second best, it's first or nothing for me. And uh this competitiveness, this desire, this want, uh, was for me of just, you know, not not doing this is not an option. And of course, there's been times where I want to give up. There, of course, I, yeah, I, I remember when I first was trading, I would take losses. I would feel sick at the stomach, have sleepless nights. I would literally hate myself. Uh, uh, yeah, to be honest, yeah, I went through times where I literally hated myself when I took some of the losses, thinking like I was just ultra dumb. But it wasn't a case of, Oh, I guess at the time it was a case of hating myself because I didn't have, a, I wasn't lucky enough to have a mentor. I went through everything myself. I taught myself and, uh, you know, I done it all myself. But now at least, <laughs> at least I can help you make the decision, the bad decisions that I made learning to trade. At least now you do not have to make all those bad decisions because you can literally uh, learn from myself and the other coaches. We've made those decisions and those losses and those, you know, mistakes so essentially you don't have to it can save you a lot of time and pain if you decide to actually learn from us but eg yeah i went through that i went through that i went through the losses i went through the uh, not being able to sleep and focus so much on looking at the charts every single day um yeah i, I learned a lot i learned a lot but it was my desire of wanting to win of wanting of knowing what i wanted of continuing through the pains through the struggles and coming out what can we say? <laughs> One of the best traders in the world right now is <laughs> for you to decide. Uh, the, the results, yeah, the results of our latest trading competition say the same. And this is what we mean. <laughs> yes, there are many, many, many people that will come and copy, but you can copy my charts, but you can't steal my crown. <laughs> I love it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, with the inspirational message, it was this. It was moving on from Tiago, uh, obviously, you know, for taking massive losses, being unable to trade, struggling to find the membership fees to what can we say today? What an announcement that we have. He has won the latest all star membership. That is impressive. Going from this two years later to he has officially today won the next chart champions all-star membership well done tiago you walked away with the most amount of votes this was obviously a vote from inside the champions group uh la, 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 la. where did we put that vote oh i don't know what this video is actually <laughs> uh announcements yeah here we go we done the vote yesterday uh tiago is the latest all-star and it just you know, what is an all-star? It's somebody that has given back to the community and now they are recognized as being an all-star. We are obviously going, we're doing more perks for this in the in the coming few weeks as well. Um, but basically, yeah, the community have recognized, hey, this guy knows what he's all about. This guy is helping me make money. This guy is helping me out with my questions and answers. And, you know, the recognition is to become that all-star. So honestly, congratulations to you. 
absolutely well done well done well done well done well done and um yeah Thiago is the latest all-star obviously Doltex yesterday was another all-star within the group that was giving the uh that was basically giving the short off of the Fibonacci on Igor time and have a guess where it bottomed out on the monthly on his chart absolute highs and absolute lows all-stars uh, all-stars come together but yeah that was I, th I, th I think that was that's pretty inspirational, or at least people were commenting, hey, that was inspirational, to show the progress, a person that could be literally just like you. And I think that's the beautiful thing about Chart Champions. All our all-stars, all our coaches, uh, all of our trading assistants, they're all people that were in the group learning. So there's no reason why you watching this could not be working if you want to. You could, not, you could be working for Chart Champions in one year's time because I hire people that are only people that were within the group learning from us. Um, so yeah, if you want to be the next Eagle, for example, hey, all you need to do is put your time in, study hard, help out in the community, and there's no reason why you can't have a job with us <laughs> in, the, in the short term, uh, you know, in, in the future, you know? So yeah, that, that 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 that's what you could aim for. Hey, if you want to work for us, <laughs> or if you want to be our competitor, then also you need to study, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this this video. I hope that you really, really don't just listen to those words that I've read out here, but eat those words, live those words. Yeah, make these make make your dreams become a reality. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be fast. It's not going to be quick. But if you put in those blood, sweat and tears per se, if you really, really, really go at it, I think that you have a community here of some of the best traders in the world, period. There's no way people can deny that. Surrounding yourself with us, um, surrounding yourself with this positivity, surrounding yourself not only with, you know, champions, period, but also the educational material, the assistance here to help you on that journey. I really, really, really struggle to believe that if you go at it with your 100% that you can fail. I truly believe you can make it, you can do it. And the evidence is right in front of you from the people just like you that have done it. So man, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I truly hope you have. I hope you've understood the analysis, how we come to these conclusions, how we're following the order flow, how we're going through this same process every single day. This is what we do. This is what we love. And that is who we are. That is CC Pool. We send our regards. We trade the charts and we crush them. Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that like, share it with your friends, share it with your family, give us some love and we'll bring you more. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant day. And I will end, of course, with a disclaimer. There's no financial advice. No financial advice, of course, talking about our paper trades here only uh, for the educational entertainment reasons. Thank you ever so much, everybody. We love you and we say goodbye. Cheers.